Peace, y'all, and welcome to Real Talk English. I'm Sterling, and today we'll be learning about conjugations, getting good at using verbs. I hope the lesson is easy. Let's keep it simple, and I'll see you at the end of it. Today's lesson is verbs and conjugations, getting versatile with verbs. Verbs are important because they are the base to all sentence structures. The more verbs you know, the better off you'll be. Verbs have many different forms, but there are only five real grammatical structures you should know. So again, we're going to do five con conjugations. Uh, first, we'll do the infinitive, then the present, then the past, then the continuous, and then the future tense, and put them all with I. So for example, with the infinitive, we'll use have to. For the present, we'll use the word often. For the past, we'll use the word yesterday. Continuous is always now. And future, we're going to use tomorrow. So the first verb we're going to try out is get up early. Please put it with uh, the subject I. So for have to, I have to get up early. I have to get up early. Often, I often get up early. I often get up early. Yesterday, I got up early yesterday. I got up early yesterday. Now, I'm getting up early now. I'm getting up early now. Tomorrow. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. So just a quick review for get up early. I have to get up early. I often get up early. I got up early yesterday. I'm getting up early now. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. That's the five sentences that you need to know how to use for conjugations. Now we're going to try the exact same thing, but with a uh, she for the subject. He, she, and it are third person, so it changes a little bit. Okay, here we go. Get up early. Have to. She has to get up early. She has to get up early. Often. She often gets up early. She often gets up early. Yesterday. She got up early yesterday. She got up early yesterday. Now. She is getting up early now. She is getting up early now. Tomorrow. She is going to get up early tomorrow. She is going to get up early tomorrow. So one more time. She has to get up early. She often gets up early. She got up early yesterday. She is getting up early now. She is going to get up early tomorrow. So the reason why it's like this is so you can pick the tense based on these key words. So for example, have to, words like want to, need to, like to, and hurry to are all the same. They, they're all infinitive tense. The same goes with often, words that are present tense. For example, always, usually, sometimes, never. For the past, which is pretty easy because it stands out, you like the word yesterday, last night, a minute ago, earlier, two days ago, etc.
The present continuous is the most simple because now is always what's happening now. Last but not least is the future tense. Words like tomorrow are now because it's happening from now. Later on, the day after tomorrow or in two weeks and etc. So do you think you got it? Let's try with a couple of verbs. I'll give you three. Study English. Like to. She likes to study English. On Mondays. She studies English on Mondays. Yesterday. She studied English yesterday. Now. She is studying English now. Tomorrow. She is going to study English tomorrow. Wash one's hands. Have to. I have to wash my hands. Often. I often wash my hands. Yesterday. I washed my hands yesterday. Now. I'm washing my hands now. Before lunch. I'm going to wash my hands before lunch. Microwave some food. Have to. She has to microwave some food. Often. She often microwaves some food. Yesterday. She microwaved some food yesterday. Now. She is microwaving some food now. Tomorrow. She is going to microwave some food tomorrow. Okay, so I hope you got it. Uh, Remember to practice these conjugations with everything you do. It'll get smoother over time. The key is to be versatile. Okay, guys, how was the lesson? Hope it went well, and I hope it was simple. And for more lessons, please look on the links below or to the side for recommended uh, lessons connected to this one. And uh, leave your comments and questions for anything else you want to know. This is Real Talk, Sterling, Real Talk English, Peace.